Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. APC crisis. What happened in Zamfara? Can't repeat itself in Edo, says Deputy Governor. <laughs> Philip Shaibu don't speak. Oh, guys, we need to hear what Philip Shaibu has to say. Philip Shaibu, the Deputy Governor of Edo State, says the all-progressive Congress crisis that led to the party loss in Zamfara State will not repeat itself in his state, Edo State. The APC has lost all its votes in the 2019 governorship election after a five-man panel of the Supreme Court led by Tako Mohammed, the Chief Justice of Nigeria, declared that the party did not conduct valid primaries in the build-up of the election. Can you imagine? This is the same primaries we are talking about. That's why Philip, Philip Shaibo is bringing it up again to their notice that if APC will win Edo State again, they have to be careful because we know what is happening in the primaries now. The, the APC fraction cannot get a consensus candidate. Uh, we have the uh, Obaseki fraction. So it's all kind of messed up. Let's continue. The party has two primaries in the state due to fraction power play in the state, just like it do. A situation politically commenters say many repeat, may repeat itself in a do state if care is not taken and if they don't behave themselves and do the needful. Speaking on this in an interview with Osage Igbenedio on the, on the Osage show, Philip said the party has put politics on hold to hush the spread of coronavirus COVID-19 in the state. But assure party faithful that Samfara situation will not repeat itself in a do state. I can assure you that what happened in Zamfara cannot happen in a do because we play the game by the rule. We follow the rules strictly, and everything we do in a do is guided by the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, he said. Anything we do in the party is guided by the constitution of APC as well. I can assure you that Edo State will not have a repeat of Zamfara. We will have our election by the grace of God in Edo, and God in Obaseki and I will get back on our second term by the grace of God. History is there that you cannot tackle a moving train that is moving at a speed of development, like or like the one we are having. We think through all our politics. We don't do things anyhow. We know exactly what we are doing. We are collaborating and working peacefully to make sure that a do state and all our government agencies are working as they should. What we are doing in a do state is to take the governance to a level where our children will have hope for tomorrow. We are dealing with issues of education. We are dealing with issues of infrastructure. We are creating new mindsets or in the Edo state people in believing in themselves, helping the those who want to go in business to be confident that they can do it. Edo people are very, very proud people, are people who look up to themselves and know that they can do it. An Edo man or Edo woman will not be the one to be asking for arms or begging people. They work with their arms and they get the money. So that's why we are encouraging them, those in business, those who are going into entrepreneurship to work hard and we are supporting them as a government. Edo State APC currently has two chairmen belonging to two different fractions in the state, suggesting two candidates may be filled for the governorship election in September 2020. As far as the as far as the politics is concerned, we decided to be silent on politics because of the life of the people is critical to us. And we don't want to be disturbed or distracted by all these political tactics going on. Even the palliative is distributed across the party line. There, there was no PDP APC in the party and we all did it traditionally, given to the people, not minding any party. We are a peace-loving people. We want to comply, focus on the COVID-19, and the issue of politics will take care of itself. We don't know who will be alive when the election will take place. This, this is real, and all we are asking, we are looking out for the vulnerable. We, you can see 
kings, governors, prime ministers are all being affected. There's no respecter of persons. So life is more important to us. Those fighting about politics now, we will get that, to that. That is not the issue at hand. As a government, we want to make sure that the people, first of all, are alive, well, and healthy. We have decided that politics will take the back seat for now. When the time to play politics come and the creator spares our life, we will deal with that issue. But for now, we are tackling the most important issue, the health and the life of every Edo state citizen. He said, Oshomole, the national chairman of the APC has been suspended in the state, but the court says he can keep working as the national at the national state. Why that awaits another court review and verdict matter? We keep doing our work. Philip Shaibu said, the most important thing is that Edo people are well and healthy. Then we will talk of politics. Don't worry, we'll get to that surely and truly, not a distant time from now after COVID-19. Well, my people, you don't hear and feel if I shall able don't speak as a wise man. He said the most important thing when they paramount to them and not be about politics. Now about the good health of your do state people. He said, well, politics will take care of itself. Not when they are alive, they fight, they, they defend politics or they fight. He says, so the most important thing now is for the people of Edo state to be well, healthy and doing well. And the politics will take care of itself. Well, the uh, majority of the show went ahead to ask him regarding what happened in Zamfara, there were two different fractions from APC, just exactly the same thing happening now in Edo State. And so there was no proper primaries being conducted in APC. And so when the whole thing happened, it's not because PDP won. APC disqualified themselves by the actions that they put up, by the things they did. So right now, um, the moderator was saying to Philip, are you sure that's not going to repeat itself? Because we know now that there are two fractions, even the two fractions are even still fractionalized because they cannot get a consensus candidate that will stand to be the one to go on the premise <laughs> head to head. So for the fact that they could not you know, comport themselves and choose a consensual candidate to go and, you know, uh, you know, uh, com contest against PDP, disqualify them. So they were disqualified. And don't forget that APC has not only lost Zamfara, they've also lost, um, what's the state now, Bayesa state due to, you know, confusion and inappropriate behavior. Starting with Zamfara, they could not comport themselves to choose a consensual candidate. Now, in the issue of Bayesa, the, it was the national fault. So, you know, person of Oshomole who should have done proper screening to ascertain that the results being being presented by those who are contesting in the in the in the in the um, election, we are qualified. Don't forget, this part has been seen it us, knowing that they were not qualified. So these are some of the things that are happening presently now as we speak in Nigeria. And Edo State, you know, has to be has to be ready. Otherwise, you know, it, it might just be another case of what happened in Zamfara State. So they are asking Philip Shaibu, say, are you sure this is not going to repeat itself? Philip Shaibu said, no, we are sure of ourselves. Uh, we are not fighting politics now. Those that are being fractionalized should continue. But we will get to it. What we are saying is, we want this. We want this pandemic to be over. And then we can look into, you know, what is important, the life of the people, which is the most important thing. After that, we can do every and any other thing. So my people, now the matter be that. Edo State needs to move forward. Edo State needs to decide otherwise. You know, don't forget that PDP has already reserved a ticket already for... PDP has reserved a ticket already for uh, uh, Obaseki. So, but they need to organize themselves. They need to get these things in order. They need to strengthen our things so that they can move forward. Because what is going on, hmm, if they don't decide, uh, you can see APC saying bye-bye to uh, those states, all because of pride, all because of, you know, I'm the head, I'm the boss, I'm the boss man. If you don't obey me, if you don't lead, all those, uh, we need to stop it. The most important thing is that those states moving forward, becoming a state of the art. You heard Philip Shaibu, he said they do, men and women are proud people. They don't go about begging proud in the sense that they work hard for their money they go out they work hard and they and they make their money they are not people who sit down and and beg to eat they do what is needed they 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 they, they, they provide they you know they, they work hard you know 
that's why my people we must come together we must come together and we must we must as a do state decide who will lead us rather than allowing you know uh, some persons a few group of people to decide the fate of a do state philip said part of your focus now is education infrastructure so that a do state can move forward remember this is an old city Talking about the own old Bende state and all that. These things, you know, there's a lot of things that should have been done by now. And, you know, if you think that Philip Shaibo and the governor, Gordon Obaseki, they want to move a little state forward, please support them. But if you think they are not, please kick them out. Thanks for listening. God, for, God, God bless you. Don't forget to thumbs up for us, like and share. Bye for now.